My name is Origami Mark. Uh, you can contact me on my website, which is origamimark.co.uk. Now I'm going to show you how to fold money. Uh, in this case, I've got a five euro note lent to me by the cameraman. Uh, but you can fold uh, 5, 10, 20 pound notes of U UK currency. Uh, there's a lot of origami money folding with American dollars and it's possible uh, to get hold of uh, fake American dollars so you can practice American dollar folding if, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, but as I say, most European currencies, uh, certainly UK currencies, will work for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make you a, uh, a shirt, an origami shirt. Which is quite handy in pubs because if you run out of money you can always offer to pay for it, pay for your beer with a shirt. Uh, makes the barman laugh. Uh, as long as you don't tell it too many times to the same barman, obviously. Uh, but what we do is we fold the, the uh, euro in, in half longitudinally. We then fold him in quarters longitudinally. Obviously, using big words here, I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Uh, but essentially you end up with uh, a euro folded um, as a using a technique called a cupboard fold and it's called a cupboard fold because when you open it and close it it's like the cupboard doors on a cupboard. Now next thing we're going to do um, is going to get very interested in the end where the fives are on this uh, five euro note. We're going to fold that point in along the center line. And do the same on the other side. Unfold and then the raw flap inside at the center line, we're going to fold it back to the folded edge that we just made. But we want that to go inside, so we fold that all, reverse all that back inside the model like that, and do the same on the other side. Okay, so we've got a little V shape there. Next thing we're going to do is fold the model back on itself. Where that V meets in the middle, that's where we want to put this crease. And it's obviously got to be symmetrical across the model. Open that up. And then if you push your thumb inside the, the raw flap, you'll find that crease naturally moves down to the outside edge of the model. And that's where we want you to put a crease, taking the whole model down with you along that crease we made earlier. So I'll just show you that again. Put your thumb underneath, push the crease that you've just, just made here, this crease, this crease here, along the outside edge of the model, and then just squash the whole thing flat. Do the same on the other side. And we have the sleeves of our shirt. What we're now going to do is turn the model over, upside down, and fold the edge, the top edge of that crease, top edge of that, uh, that the model, that raw edge, over on itself. Very, very small amount. This is going to be the collar of the shirt. So we then fold the shirt inwards to form one side of the collar. Fold the shirt inwards to form the other side of the collar. We then fold the whole model in half, tucking our sleeve part under the collar part and flattening at the bottom. And we have an origami shirt.